previously on two brummies and a berlingo i shared with you our fantastic purchase the boot jump which has pretty much converted our 2004 citroen berlingo multi-space into a micro camper look at how beautiful bell looks parked up here down the bottom of the allotment plot Speaking of allotment plots, if you're into growing your own food or you'd like to get into growing your own food, check out my other channel. I'll leave the link in the description. Back to the Bilingo, come on. And today's video kind of follows on nicely from the previous video talking about the boot jump because it just seemed logical for the next step to get the cushions for the boot jump. So me and Sarah are completely new to camper vanning and converting cars into campers. It's something we've never really done before, but you're always looking for little ways that you can save money, aren't you? Just so you can feel like you're doing it a little bit cheaper and the whole experience just becomes more, I don't know, fulfilling, doesn't it, when you save a bit of money? Now, when we were on eBay and we purchased the boot jump, sure what that was there was an option to purchase the cushions to go with the boot jump so i mean from a convenience factor we could have just ordered the cushions along with the boot jump but it was added 230 something pound for the cushions and we thought you know, it just seems a bit pricey doesn't it for cushions and sarah used to be a bit of a seamstress and she knows a little bit about materials and whatnot so she said nah forget that let's go and source our own make our own cushions customize them up a bit for the bilingo so that's exactly what we did we sourced some foam for another company and then we sourced the cushion covers from another company put all the links to everything in the description of this video of where we purchased the foam and where we purchased the cushion covers but there's one huge difference from these cushions that we purchased and the price is a huge difference as well what i'm going to do in today's video i'll set up the boot jump like i did in the previous video and i'll put our cushions down and then we can have a little see about how cozy it looks with our new cushions so come on my do let's set the boot jump go on two minutes to set that up into this sort of chilled out seating position like i showed you in the video before you can obviously lean back and sit with your feet up here or you could sit here with the table that does present a few problems in terms of the height of this multi-space but we'll talk about that perhaps in another video check out the cushions that we purchased for inside that micro camper we've gone for this sort of multicolored mandala type i don't know pattern there and then a standard gray pattern at the bottom there but there's something really interesting about this let me show you before we sit in here and give them a bit of a give them a bit of a test run if you like if you were to purchase the cushions that came with the boot jump they were only about five centimeters in depth and that you know isn't very deep at all but look at the depth on these these are about 10 centimeters which is double the depth that you would have got if you'd have purchased the cushions along with the boot jump and i've got to be honest with you right me and sarah because we're fairly new to this sort of stuff we camped before in a tent so this is just a massive upgrade to us so i know people that might have sort of converted transits and transporters and that that's a different level you know because you can walk around in there and do all that sort of stuff cook and whatnot in a micro camper it's slightly different and we've basically set it up so the camper itself is mainly just for sleeping and then we're going to have like an awning that comes out on the side to do cooking and to sit down really inside is mainly just going to be for sleeping and for perhaps chilling if the weather's a bit nippy but yeah look at these cushions that we've got so far and we put here there is one more thing i want to add to this before i get in it wait there i mean in our effort to make it as cozy as possible freeman's catalog sarah ordered these they're on sale and they were only about i think they were about 10 or 12 pounds each and they're really cozy and comfy and warm it's going to run them down each side of the seating area so let me put that on and then we'll get in and have a look come on I'm not gonna lie, guys. 
is this? <laughs> so cozy, God. Let's get ourselves in here. And I know there's not much, much room from a height perspective there. Sitting down in the sort of lateral position. I'll just take my shoes off. Let's get in here. And I'm a, Oh, this is mega. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this, is, this is amazing. I hope no one comes down the allotment plot. I <laughs> what I'm doing down here. But yeah, look at this. Look at my view. I've got a view here of my feet and a pile of horse manure there. What more can you ask for? Got that table there, which is actually at a good height when you're sitting down here. And there's enough room here to sort of chill really. You've got this cushion here which leans up against the side here so you can just put your arm on it and chill out. But honestly, this is absolutely, <laughs> this is mega. It's the first time actually that, I don't know, the dreams, dream feels a little bit real now. So cosy. I just short of 11 stone. No, I don't, that's a lie. <laughs> now, I weigh just over 11 stone, about 11 stone, three, four. And my weight on these cushions is not going to the bottom of the cushion, so it's still quite cosy, even with my weight fully on it. It could definitely handle another stone or something like that before you got to the bottom. So much comfier than sleeping in a tent or anything like that. In fact, it feels like a little, it's like a little spaceship or something. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit overexcited, aren't I? But yeah, this is the seating area, and I wanted to show you what the cushions look like in the seating area. And then what I'll do is I'll put it in a bed position, and then I'll tell you how much they cost. Let's do it. Come on. Ordering the cushions was dead easy because on the website for well, it's the eBay on the eBay listing for the boot job, the dimensions of the cushions were the dimensions of the unit actually on the website so it's dead easy so the website where we bought the foam from which i put below we literally just copied and pasted the dimensions and asked them to do that for us piece of cake let me take off this table we'll put it in the sleeping position which is exciting Come on. and there you have it that's the second sort of formation i don't know if that's the right word this is the second sort of way that you can have it so that could be like a I mean, you could have that as a sleeping area, to be honest, with the head sticking up at the back, but you probably want to flatten it out. But let's get inside with it like this. <laughs> Check this out. Look at the view in front of me. Brilliant. Holy <laughs> shit. Right, so what I'll do is I'll put it in the bed position and then we'll see what it looks like from a lying down point of view. I'm trying to, in case anyone comes down the alarm plot, because we will look a bit silly if that's happening. So let's put it down into the flat position so I can just give you the final view of what it all looks like in a bed position. There you go. Check that out. It's in the bed position now. Let's get ourselves to bed. Come on. Oh my word. And this is pretty much about as comfortable as my bed at home. It's quite, it's not hard, but it's not, you know, like when you sleep on air beds in tents, which is what me and Sarah used to, because we different, because we've got a double air bed with different weights as well. It always dips down on one side and you always end up touching the bottom. Someone else is sort of up in the air and it's just really uncomfortable. And if someone moves, it disturbs the other person. But with this, like this, that is just definitely not going to happen. And you could literally, I don't know, you could get some really good night's sleeps here. Check out my view. There we go. And you can see, despite it's a micro camper, look, I'm over here, it's a bit in the middle, and then Sarah can go there. And we have actually got plenty of room. It is the middle of the afternoon. And I could be tempted to lie here and have an actual kip, just to give you a sleep rating. Probably not a good idea, is it, to start sleeping down the allotment plot. People would definitely start talking if they see me down here having a kip. So let me tell you in total how much these cushions cost. So if you wanted to buy these from the shop below, and then you want to buy the covers, which Sarah bought off Sheen, I think it was, um, the total cost for them both would be £147, right? And the cost to buy the cushions with the boot jump, which were half the width, was, I'm just checking my notes, was 
236 pounds so not only are you getting a saving of 90 pounds doing it this way but you get way way more cozier and comfortable cushions to sit on when you're out camping so it's definitely the way forward to go and I just wanted to share that with you today on today's video a little tip on how you can if you're starting out doing what we're doing or potentially want to upgrade what you've already got the links below to the foam shop and also to the cushion covers is a definite way that you can not only save money but improve your sleeping inside your micro camper and just take one last look at it come on oh look at it i'm so pleased with that and beryl now i mean we've still got loads to do on her but we've got kind of like the basics in place the boot jump the bed i mean there are still like lots of things still need tidying up and still a bit yucky up there on the ceiling's a bit yucky we've got a few parts missing there's plenty of things we want to do still to the van but the basics are in place now hope you've enjoyed today's video <laughs> it's just so comfortable it is unbelievable and i can't wait to go out camping in this because i actually think i'll get a better night's sleep in here than i would in our bed at home so guys if you haven't done already hit the subscribe button to two brummies and a bolingo because we started our journey in 2024 of converting our citroen bolingo 2004 multi-space into a micro camper preparing ourselves for a year of traveling doing some hikes just having fun getting in the great outdoors so subscribe and you can come along with us thank you very much for watching guys there's only one more thing to say i'll see you in the the next one.